Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to go over a little leash thing with you guys real quick. Uh, it's something I call Shear, S-H-E-A-R-R. -R. It's sort of a uh, fundamental way that I approach most leash pulling. So it's each, obviously, each letter stands for a word or a phrase. So the first thing is S, stop and set your feet. Like I say set your feet, but you also have to stop to do that, right? So one of the things that happens when people have dogs who pull, let's see if we get her to pull. Come on, buddy. All right, they stop like this, and then they have to take a step to get back on balance, right? So that's not cool. That's not helpful. Hey, buddy. Right? So I want to make sure that when we stop, we don't just stop, but we set our feet. Now, we have to stop. One of the things that people do constantly that I see all the time, I'm driving around, I see people walking their dogs, um, and I see clients do this all the time, and I even see... You know, experienced dog handlers do this from time to time if they're in a hurry and just sort of not not really paying attention, not really in the moment. And that is they start trying to slow the dog down while they're walking forward. And you just really can't do that. You can't, like, if, if I'm walking forward while I'm pulling back, what I'm doing is I'm telling the dog that you can make me move if you try hard enough, which is the opposite. So we want to set our feet. Now, one thing that's super important is if the dog is on my left side, I want my left foot front. If the dog is on my right side, I want my right foot front. Because if... She's pulling me this way, I have to step. If she's pulling me that way, I can just push into the ground and resist. So first thing, stop and set your feet. That's S, right? Come on. So the next thing is H, and that stands for heels down. Because another thing that happens is people, when their dogs pull, they tend to come up on their toes for some reason. And that, again, puts them off balance. If your head ever goes in front of your toe, you are off balance. That dog's going to force you to take a step and move very easily all right so heels down so we push our heels down and if you look from the side i actually kind of want you to sit your butt down right don't lean back and don't squat but just let your weight sink down right um push your heels into the ground and that will keep you from going off the, the toes like you can almost lift your toes up a little bit i don't recommend that but almost just barely keep them on the ground and that will help keep you more solid all right so now that we have a solid base, set your feet, stop, set your feet, heels down, E, elevation. Come on, ready, come on. So again, we'll get her distracted. So as she goes, as she pulls ahead, set my feet and I wanna get my leash, leash nice and low. Yes, good girl. I'm not gonna reward her yet. Right, get your leash lower, lower than her shoulder, ideally. That just helps them move. And then the A is angle, which I did before already. Come on, let's go. I want to steer her, not stop her. Yes, good. All right. So stop. Set your feet, heels down. Change the elevation of your leash. Create an angle. And what I mean by an angle is if my leash is if my leash is running directly along her spine, there's no angle, right? If it's a little bit to the side, that's some angle. We want a, we want a wider angle, right? So the more obtuse this angle is, the wider this angle is, kind of the more ability we have. Remember, the idea is to steer her, not stop her. So if, if, uh, if I'm pulling straight back, I am opposing her on her strongest line of energy. If I'm on the side, then she's not really equipped, she's not really built anatomically to generate force against that. So we'll just turn her and that makes it easy. Lowering the leash helps with that too. So we get the angle and the elevation or elevation angle. That's your S-H-E-A. And then we have the R and it's two R's actually. So the first R is row. So let's see. Come on, Betty. Good girl. So we're gonna make like a rowing motion, right? So we don't end up in this situation where there's, there's this long opposition on the leash. So I'm going to roll this ball. And also I want to point out that the leash pressure is coming on softly. I'm not jerking it. There's no sudden stops. I'm, guy, I'm, I'm applying the brakes gently like I've got a wedding cake in the back of my car and I don't want to topple it, right? So, so again, and row. Yeah. And then the second R is reward right? And that can be food, it can be pets, 
It can be anything that you have control over that she wants. Right? So again, we'll try that again. Oh, yes. Good girl. Right? Yeah, good. Oh, yes. So there's no need to jerk her back. There's no need to be rough with her. We just need to make sure that the pulling on the leash does not result in her getting progress towards her goal and that she sees it's more valuable to check back in with us. Now, I'm not going to pretend this works on every dog in every situation, but it works a whole lot more than it doesn't work. So that's your shear method. Super valuable. I'm really happy with it as an approach. Give it a try and let me know what you think.